Welcome back to my channel and the 8th in the series of videos about the Rebel New Zealand Cavaliers Tour to South Africa in 1986. Following their win in the second test against the Springboks to square the series, the Touring Cavaliers continued their good form by thrashing the South African Barbarians team in Johannesburg. In this video, I'll showcase this excellent performance by the Touring team, which nicely set up the third test to follow at Loftus Fairsfeld in Pretoria. The New Zealand team named a completely changed side from the team that took the field in the second test, including a new halfback pair in Andrew Donald and Robbie Deans. When Shelford captained the team. <laughs> Much were expected from the South African Barbarian team, and especially their old Transvaal front row, which gave the tourists lots of problems in their match against Transvaal. The performance of lock pairing Rudy Fissage and the Willis Fissers were also much anticipated, with both being current Springboks. The team included three players of colour, namely halfback pair Richard Croy and Russell Roo, both who played provincial rugby for the Western Province League, and flanker Wellington McCarty from the South African Rugby Association. Former All Black Frank Mullen was the referee. A centre and wing three quarter, Macmillan represented Auckland at provincial level and was a member of the New Zealand national side, the All Blacks, from 1957 to 1960. He played 29 matches for the All Blacks, including 11 internationals. On tour in South Africa in 1960, Macmillan scored a late try to enable the team to draw the third test and keep the series alive. With a fine individual effort, he nearly scored again in the fourth and final test, only to have to try this allowed, a debatable decision. After retiring as a player in 1960, Macmillan became a rugby union referee, reaching international level. His appointments included controlling the 1973 test between the All Blacks and the touring English team. Back to Ellis Park and a rousing display from the New Zealanders in this floodlit match. They score six tries to two, with Wayne Shelford and Bernie Fraser grabbing two apiece. Could be a try here. Shelford going for the line. Frank Shelford this time. Loose ball, and here this could be a try, I think it is. It was good work, and I think that's the, the big lock forward, Pierce. Oh. Well tap back. Now it goes to Russell Rue from Troy. Up to Franz Vessels. He's got Helfer Muller there. Helfer Muller trying out to Hendrik Creer. Can he get over? Creer going for the line. Did he lose it? Did he get it? Wait, what will the referee say? Yeah, he's given the try. Well, he waited for the touch judge to run round, and I think he was quite right in giving it to Hendrik Clear because you've got to put the ball down on the ground, and that's one he put down so hard. We'll watch it again. Beautifully played by Richard Croy. Watch how he takes this ball and gets it away quickly. Good running by Russell Rue. He runs just out of the way of the loose forwards. Then Franz Wessels makes the half gap. Beautiful running by Helgaard Miller. Now he's got quite a lot of work to do here, Hendrik Creer. And watch how he goes down and bang! The referee in this match, the former All Black Frank McMullen. Andy Donald waiting for it. Who will it go for a drop kick? No, out to the left. Waits for the good chip ahead. This could be a try by Bernie Fraser. No, just too fast for him. It just beat him into touch. It's Wayne Smith, number 10. Wayne Smith has played well on this tour, as has Billy Osborne. And this is a very good position for them. They're within a meter of their opponent's line. There's Pierce next to big Rudy Fassach. Where will they throw? It's an eight-man line-out. No, seven-man line-out. Frank Shelford back amongst the backs. And that, I think, is going to be a try. Is it Murray Pierce? I think... No, it was Wayne Shelford. Wayne Shelford, that's his second try. And he scored two against Natal. At half-back for the Barbarians, the Western Province League's Richard Croy and his provincial partner Russell Rue at fly-half. Centre Helgard Muller of Free State has an outside chance for Springbok selection and the town fullback so Hugh Rhys Edwards scrum, emerges as chief side. understudy for Johan Hiernes. Muller missing out a man, that's the fullback in the line, Rhys Edwards. He's broken clear, but Kali Hrabla with him. Good kick ahead, chased by Bernie Fraser. Fraser gets there first. And there's going to be a try by Rhys Edwards, I think. Tried to pass it inside. That's Alan Whitten again with the ball to back of the line out. Very good position. Wayne Smith, dummy, there's the scissors. Bryce Robbins going through. That's the 22 meter line of the Barbars. Their second phase, beautiful, blind side. And the chip into the box, being chased by Robbie Deans. 
coming across well with Franz Vessels, but there's a loose ball. This is a very dangerous situation. Could be a try. And it is. Yeah. Zealand is so quick on this loose ball. And Wayne Shelford again. Well, that's incredible. That is Wayne Shelford's third try. He scored two against Natal. John Mills, deep throw in. Tap back by Wetton to Andy Donald. Wayne Smith. And good kick through by Pokeri. Difficult one there for the fullback, Reese Edwards. Be able to keep it in play. Akhtari with it. And down it goes to France Vessels. And that's Kali Hrabla on the far side with it. Kali Hrabla getting round his man. He's as strong as can be, keeping the ball in play. Under it, Robbie Deans. And just a little bit too far ahead. Hasn't found touch. Found Russell Rue. It's a good pass by Russell Rue. Hugh Reese Edwards is there. Being chased there by Helfhard Miller. Will it bounce kindly for him? He's got one man to beat. And inside it goes to Reese Edwards, who will score. Lovely try by Hugh Reese Edwards there. And lovely handling. That was real barbarian stuff, Hugh. New Zealand is on the attack. The referee wanting that metre between the forwards in the line out. Deep one well tapped back there by Wesson. Good second phase. Out it goes. Wayne Smith. Billy Osborne looking for the inside pass. But there's no one there. Back to Donald. Andy Donald pulled into the ruck. Might have to get out to get his pass away. That's good second phase again. And Wayne Smith. Osborne. For Carey. Carey. Deans. And that's Bryce Robbins. He's got to get the corner. Will he go for the corner? He's cutting in. Well tackled by Franz Vessels. And this could be very dangerous again. And Shelford. Frank Shelford going over with a try. Well tapped back by Wayne Shelford. Billy Osborne looking for the inside gap and nearly getting through it on the halfway line. And blind side, Bryce Robbins out to Wayne Smith. Got Bernie Fraser there. Bernie Fraser's been chased by Rogers and Bernie Fraser going down. He's going to score all the way. Bernie Fraser goes over as he likes there. And a very good situation for the New Zealanders, but it is a barbarian ball. Picked up by Helen Hayes. And once again, Wayne Shelford in a very dangerous position. Just, that is the try line there. This could be a try. Andy Donald out to Fraser. Is Bernie Fraser in? I think he is. That's the second try. Yep. And the referee is a penalty there for offside. <coughs> Rudy Fasaki, the big man from the Free State. There he goes. And giving it to JP Heldenhuis. Barbar's over the 22 meter line. And Russell Root taking the ball very well there, giving out to Vessels. This is out to Kali Krobler. Krobler with a very strong man with a handoff. And Russell Rue, number 10, trying to get it back to the Barbarians. Just Rogers is there too. And but Alan Wetton going in. Helped there by, by Steve McDowell. And All Blacks getting the ruck. Long one there by Wayne Smith. And the referee. Blows for full time. The New Zealanders complete their biggest victory on tour with a control display in all phases. Fullback Robbie Deans produces an immaculate goal kicking effort by converting all six tries and goaling two penalties, a personal tally of 18 points. The Cavaliers' win provided necessary impetus going into the crucial third test. This was their biggest win on tour and their forwards totally dominated the match, with their back lying dangerous on attack. The media reported that a big loss put a question mark over South Africa's rugby depth. The Cavaliers' front row took revenge against the all-transvaal front row of the Barbarians. Wayne and Frank Shelford were their best players, and in the backs, Robbie Deans had his best match to date, well supported by Andrew Donaldson. For the Barbarians, Kali Grobler had a few strong runs, and fullback Urius Edwards also impressed. Swimbox Rudy Fasaki and De Villiers Fissers disappointed, losing their lineouts 20 to 8 lineouts against the touring team. Referee McMullen were praised for letting the play flow and he only awarded 15 panel penalties in the whole match. There was some speculation that he would, he would officiate in the third test, with South African Steve Stradom getting the fourth test. But the Cavaliers preferred neutral referees, which meant that Welshman Ken Rowlands would also be in control of the last two test matches in Pretoria and Johannesburg. Following the match, the rumours started circulating that a team from West Samoa was bound to tour South Africa. South African rugby 
Board President Dr. Danny Craven said nothing was finalized. However, in 1987, the Rebel South Sea Barbarians teams with players from Samia, Samoa, Fiji and Tonga toured South Africa. Next week, I will look at the third test match between the Cavaliers and the Springboks, a match crucial for both teams in terms of the outcome of the series. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and also subscribe to my channel to follow the rest of the series. Cheers. Win the strike from the Russian Mesopotamia. The opening of international rugby will be in the middle of the Gelblad.